Ash Canyon seems like it plans to keep us around a little while longer. On the positive side, version 2.22 has dropped, and it purports to have squashed some of the most persistent bugs we've been seeing for the past little while. Hello, Legion. This is Hadrian. Thank you for being here. Let's play some more of the Long Dark and Our Against All Odds series, where we have a decent amount of caloric value in us. But what we've got to do at this point, I think, is wander a little bit farther from this lovely place we've been staying in. We have some hides, some guts curing. There's some coal here. Let's take a look. I've got three pieces, six sticks on me. I can probably go ahead and grab a few more. Yeah, that's that's a little bit too much. I don't want to walk around encumbered because that will increase my calorie burn. And we want to try and do a little bit, forgive me for using this phrase, but in this case it's true, we want to do a little bit of min maxing right now just to make sure that we're not using up more calories than we need to. So over there-ish is where we've been getting bunny meat for the past little while, which is all well and good. But I need to wander a little farther now, specifically into an area where, hang on, let me make sure of something. Yep, there it is. Specifically into an area where, oh, I've got a broken arrow too. I might need to fix that. I think that's a broken fire hardened arrow, but still a broken arrow. Specifically into an area that we haven't actually visited yet. Now, the last time I came down this direction, there were some wolves that were preventing me from going any farther. I have a little bit more life now, so I'm not necessarily going to try and kill any wolves. If one comes after me, then I'll shoot it in the face. Not with my revolver, though. I'll shoot it in the face with this. Because I have arrows again, and it's wonderful. But I'm just going to kind of keep an eye out and see if I can spot for any of my woodland friends. I do see some more cattails, which is positive. I don't know where the wolf patrol routes are exactly, and they could these wolves could literally be anywhere right now, so I'm a little bit on edge. I might be quiet for a moment, in fact, just to pay close attention. Because I am right at the start of a recording session here, and if I'm going to get caught off guard at any point, it'll be like right now. Yeah, we haven't been able to wander down this far on account of said wolves. At least I feel like there were wolves, but... They probably are just farther downstream. This is so nerve-wracking, like, not knowing where the animals are. My fingers feel numb. At least we're getting a decent number of cattails. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is a very decent number of cattails. See, the more I can do this, the more I can just double back to the shelter that I've already found. Or potentially find other shelter as I do this. That is the beauty of having a bedroll. Alright, let's step up on the high ground a bit. Oh, speaking of shelter, there's one right there. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Let's step inside. That's lovely. I'm glad I looked to my right there. Oh, is this... Is this what I think it is? Oh, it's not a full cave. Oh, that's fascinating. Never mind. It's not shelter. Was not expecting that. All right. Very rare in the long dark, but now that we have so many new zones, it's a little bit more frequent than it used to be. All right, so I'm seeing more cattails. Worth daring the cold a little while longer. I can grab a couple more of these. This feels like more than seven, so that's another thousand calories. Just taken care of. All right, as tempted as I am to keep going, I think I can actually do a little bit better if I double back. Double checking for cattails as I go. Watching for wolves as I go. So nice to be able to sprint again. Oh my god, let me tell you. Might as well grab that stick, staring at it. I know, that makes me encumbered now. But the cattails have already made me encumbered, so... Alright, so wherever these wolves are, they have a wide patrol radius. 
they are all over the place. All right, there's my cabin. Because now I've got enough food to hang out for a bit longer. Which is really quite nice. Hello? Thought I heard footsteps. But apparently not. So one of the main bugs that was fixed, by the way, is the voice switching bug. Also, they have fixed the bug that caused me to get more calories from that rabbit meat. Is that, I think it was either last episode or the one before that. And they fixed the bug which has been messing with our tea cooking for the past little while. So all of the ones we've really been noticing, the standout bugs, they released a patch that uh, took care of all of them, which I think is pretty cool. All right, so let me go ahead and harvest this fire-hardened arrow, get the feather back. That's literally all I get for that. And yeah, now we can just chow down on the eight cattails. Okay, so just eight. I was hoping it was more like 10, but I'll take eight. That is 1,200 calories, I think. Yeah. Which is not nothing. And I will have to make some water, I think, in order to really rest for the amount of time I need to rest right now. But I would like to regain as much condition as I possibly can. And then we can wander down the river a little bit farther. So one of the main reasons I mentioned that we are going to hang out in Ash Canyon for a bit is we have these guts that are curing. That's going to take... So this is 20% cured. That's honestly like... It's going to need four more days to cure. This rabbit pelt is going to be done in about the same amount of time. I can't remember how long rabbit pelts take. They're the fastest, but for whatever reason, I can't remember offhand at the moment. So... Just taking one last look under the bed here. There's nothing else in the trunk, nothing next to the trunk. I've been so paranoid with this particular location because there's, I feel like there's so much where stuff could hide. I also haven't broken any of these things down. Let's break down the cardboard box real quick and see if anything is hiding back there. You never know. I could break down the shelf for reclaimed wood, but I'm not gonna do that. So let's go ahead and drop the, oh, I've got cattail heads. Why do I have cattail heads? That is unnecessary weight. Just like the tinder plugs. Also, I do need to read that field dressing book, but what I need to do more than anything right now is to start a fire and make some more water. So that's what we're going to do. I'm continually amazed that I still am only at fire starting four. I feel like I've started a bunch of fires. Isn't it interesting to just, I've, I've joked about this a few times, but in all seriousness, it's interesting how many matches I have. When Interloper first dropped, there was a huge kind of culture that developed around conserving matches and being really careful with matches, which it makes complete sense. Like I don't fault people for thinking that way at all and it's a good way to think like you don't you don't want to be you know going back to the idea of min maxing like you don't want to be utterly wasteful with matches of all things in interloper it's just not a good idea but it's fascinating because now that the world is so much bigger than it was when interloper first came out a mobile player like me a highly mobile player who knows a decent amount of the map and is able to get around can stay well ahead of the curve in terms of the number of matches they have. Look at this. It's over 120 matches. Still, I'm closing in on day what? What, what, what are we on? I'm on day 95. I have over 120 matches. It's absurd. And I still feel like there's a good possibility that I'll find another Fire Striker somewhere. Is it highly likely? No. But it's not out of the question. Okay, so I might as well read an hour of this book. I should have done that just now, actually. Alright, so now this is potable. Let's go ahead and drink that. And I think what I'm going to go ahead and do, since I'm going to be here for a few days, 
it makes a lot of sense to just do that again. <laughs> Alright, so hold on. I need to put a little more on this fire. I don't want to waste my coal, but I need to have a couple of hours on the fire. minutes until that's boiled. Tell you what, let's go ahead and just hopefully that won't boil off completely. It did not. Didn't have a lot of time left though. Ten more minutes and it would have been gone, so you have to be careful with that. I'm not sure I can carry much more. I uh, know, that's a lot of water. You've got a gallon of water on you now. That's kind of what I wanted to shoot for, so I'll grab a torch. Ooh, that's a nice torch out of the fire. Oh, I should have kept that on for a second. Oops. All right. Well, here's the bench. There's the moose hide. Where's the bed? There's there's a shell. Bed. Found it. Feeling around in the dark. All right, let's sleep for four hours. I'll say five, but we're going to get four. Okay, didn't recover a ton of condition there unfortunately and my calories are already down a good bit more which makes me sad so at this point i think i will go ahead and repair no i'm gonna hold off i, I want to be efficient with my repairs here all of my clothing is like still like relatively good condition my rabbit skin hat i could probably get away with doing a repair on this as soon as I have another gut. Yeah, I, I do regret making that fishing line because it did not work out for me. <laughs> We've had some discussion in the comments about how lucky or unlucky that fishing attempt was. But, you know, it is what it is. I knew that it was going to be a bit of a crapshoot with it being my first time. First of all, I don't fish very often to begin with in the long dark. I don't... And, and that was my first... I don't have any experience with the new fishing system. That was it when you watched it on camera. So let's go ahead and pass time for three hours. Yeah, this is a lot of calorie burn. A lot of calorie burn. Okay. Drink a little bit more water. We're just going to have to go right back out and keep wandering down the river. But the thing is, I'll be a little bit better rested the next time I do. I'll have a little bit better condition. Not much better, though, to tell you the truth. At least I've passed some time, which is not nothing. So let's go ahead and pass two more hours. And then I should be able to sleep for like three. This is actually I could eat a horse. pushing it surprisingly close, like annoyingly close. I wasn't expecting it to be this bad. I wonder if my calorie burn... I'm going to feel so silly if this is the case, but I wonder if my calorie burn is being affected by the fact that I have... by the fact that I'm encumbered. You know? Even though I'm not moving... I wonder if it's still being affected. Y'all might know, like, immediately, oh yeah, it's because you stayed encumbered. You should have dropped some stuff. Because it seemed like we were burning calories really fast there. Like, surprisingly fast. So let's go ahead and drop half of that, and now we're no longer encumbered. We can grab up a couple of pieces of coal, but I'm actually going to use this very handy torch. I'm going to do something real quick here. Use the torch. Start a fire. 95% start chance. Because I think I have what I need to make a tea. If I don't, I'm going to feel real silly. But I think I have enough rose hips to make a tea. I've grabbed some on, the last couple times I've been out. On. And if I can have a torch and some tea in me on my way out of here, oh, yeah. that would That's be good. good Alright, let's put one more piece of coal on the fire. Cook. Alright. I don't have anything right now. Let's go ahead and extinguish this torch.
Oh. I do not, unfortunately. Do I have a tea that I've already made? No, I do not. Unfortunately. Okay, then. That changes the plan. What am I doing in terms of, or how am I doing in terms of coal? I've got the three pieces, got five, six. All right, then. Here we go. Out into the cold. No real choice. Anything else I should take with me? No, I think I'm good. Let's go. Not a bad torch that I just pulled from the fire. There's that, at least. Oh, it's foggy. Okay. But it is also very early morning, so it's going to be obnoxiously cold, despite being foggy. So I'm still going to need to move pretty quickly. Um, I'm a little bit nervous because the last time we did this, we were very lucky that the wolves were elsewhere. They might not be elsewhere this time. They could still be, but they might be right in the way again. Yeah, so I am losing calories fast. Not encumbered anymore, though. I'd prefer not to lose my progress back towards well-fed, because I feel like it's getting close. We don't have it at the moment, but it's... At this point, it really... It can't be far. One thing I haven't scanned for a lot is the burdock route. It could technically be anywhere along this riverbank. I found a couple already, but there could be more, you know? I don't know from experience how frequently it would be found in an area like this. Okay. This is already... putting me on edge a bit. Alright, so I can see... I went a little bit farther down to grab a few more cattails last time. I'm hoping there were a few more that I didn't see or that I didn't quite get to. Because this is about as far as I got. Thankfully, I'm not cold yet. The torch is helping me more than I thought. The fog is helping me more than I thought. So I'll take it. Just need to be mindful of the wildlife. I'm fairly certain I'll find some more cattails in just a second, but... I could also, you know... Not. Yep, there's some right there. Can I walk by anymore? Nope. All right, I'm gonna crouch. You might have mentioned it a thousand times or so, Jennifer. But hey, at least we've got you, Jennifer, and not Mark, you know? Nothing against Mark, it's just we didn't say that we wanted Mark this playthrough, and yet we've gotten so much of Mark, you know? Alright, so now we've got a problem. We've got two wolves. Hello, I am on a, the side of a rock. I didn't realize it. Two wolves. I'm getting cold. I see more cattails down there, so the game is taunting me. It might be time to just get out the bow and arrow and shoot a wolf in the face. I'm not going to lie. Because at this point, we need, the, we need the meat, and I need to just be smart about this. But I'm going to go for the cattails first. Also, I see some rose hips. I will take that. I'm starving. I know you are. Is there a cave over here? No, it's not a cave. It's just... It's a waterfall, but it looks like it might be a cave. It's faking me out a bit. All right, so both wolves right in front of me there. All right, I'm going to start a fire right here. And use it as a bit of a refuge against the cold. And hopefully this will be decent. We'll use the Fire Striker. Just so as not to have a 5% moment of BS. <laughs> yeah, let's not do that. Come on, little fire. I'm not in the mood for that kind of chaos. And we'll see if we can bag ourselves a wolf. And if we're lucky, we might even be able to use this campfire. For the purposes of cooking, said wolf. Alright, let's drop two pieces of coal on the fire. It is... Let me tell you, though, it is uh, very cold, because that did not even heat the fire up that much. 
it heated up enough. Two pieces of coal is, is no joke. So, that is going to help. But it's time for us to provoke the wildlife a bit. I'm, well, you know what? Let's stay by the fire for a moment. Because I can. I'm hoping the weather stays like this for a bit. Because if it does, it's a huge reprieve from the game. Especially if we're able to bag one of these wolves. I would... There's a part of me that wants to go ahead and take care of both of them. I just... I don't want to get too cowboyish right now. Because there's still so much of the game that I want to explore. I haven't played The Long Dark on the channel in a very long time, apart from the meta series, and I would like to get to at least Blackrock, you know? Although, at this point, I will say that if a wolf were to take me down, I wouldn't be unhappy, you know? That's part of the reason I'm a little bit more willing to, uh, to take this risk. If a wolf were to, uh, to come say hello, I wouldn't be mad about it. I just need to wait for the right moment here. Alright, so, kind of cold. Where'd the other one go? I see more cattails, which is good. I can't feel my feet. You know what, let me just... Let me hang by the fire a minute longer. I've got time. It's blocked from the wind. And what I can do, actually... Yeah, that's... A huge calorie burn, though. If I were to just sit here and, and pass time. I'm burning the calories regardless, though. Alright, there's the other wolf. Alright, so I've got eyes on both. I just don't want to piss both of them off at once, you know? I need to have a good sense. They're a little bit too far away for me to tell definitively which way they're moving. I see a lot of cattails, though. I see at least three, maybe four. So, food-wise, I'm going to be good. This is going to be rough. Because remember, the cold makes your hand shake when you're aiming. The other wolf is right over that ledge. toward me could be a good time. I just don't see the other one right now, which is kind of bothering me. Yeah, I see it. All right, perfect. Yeah, they're both in detection range. Yeah, come a little closer. Here, let's stand up and see if he comes for me. I know you saw me. I know you saw me. Don't tell me you didn't see me. I just stood up in clear view. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, Line of sight in the long dark is not quite the way it works. It's all about detection range. So even though I was right in front of the wolf, the game's like, he doesn't see you, Hadrian. You're not visible to the wolf. And it's like, are you sure? Are you sure? Okay, well, you know what I could do right now? You know what I could do? Let's check first. Cooking bonus. Hot. Drink. I'm going to trust that the bug has been fully fixed. Hey, there we go. We're nice and warm. It's going to be a little bit harder for that to change now. All right, so we're in a bit of a better situation. All right. See, what's bugging me is these two wolves are staying super close together. There's not, like, one of them wandering off. Which is kind of what I would prefer. Like, if one would just, like, go far enough away to where I wasn't worried about aggroing both of them. Alright, so there's... There they both are. Yeah, see, this is what's happening. They're both staying so close. If I really felt like a sniper with the bow, I would just take a shot at that wolf right now. But I don't feel like a sniper with the bow. Or do I?
Missed it. Got him. <laughs> uh, just kidding. I feel like a sniper. All right. So that's one wolf down. Thankfully, he howled right at the correct moment. Well, correct. Air quotes. All right. Other one sees me. Perfect. Of course, it can't crouch. Are you freaking serious? Got him. Same thing as before. Hit him in the head that time. Still supposedly... Whew. All right, both wolves dead. First things first, I'm going to go for the cattails just to top off my... Uh... Whew, my heart is beating. <laughs> that surprised me. I thought I had him between the eyes. And I I kind of did, but I guess the arrow was a little bit left. Alright, so I have an arrow to pick up. That one. Alright, this is a decent amount of meat there. Let's go ahead and grab a few more cattails first. There's the other arrow. Wonderful. Oh my god. Oh my god, my heartbeat. Oh, there's another cattail too. That's how you know I'm nervous, is that I walked right past that. Oh, and there's well fed. How about that? All right, so we got two wolves, one closer than the other. We've got a fire going already. With plenty of time on it, and it's plenty warm, and it's in a decent spot. The wind could definitely mess with me right now, but at the same time... Like, I can go ahead and grab two steaks off this guy here. Not feel bad about it. Cook them up, and be in a much much better position in terms of my calories. So let's get that done. That was kind of hilarious how I had to psych myself up for that. If this is your first time on the channel, if you haven't watched the older Against All Odds series, particularly if you didn't see the end of Against All Odds Season 6 and the trauma that was associated with that, then it might be a little bit harder to understand, like, the amount of nervousness there. Because, like, that was a run that had a lot of potential. There, there was a lot of BS, like, right at the end, and it got cut short, and I was very salty about it for a very long time. So there's a part of me that's like, I don't want to do something... Even though this is a game where you're constantly supposed to take life and death, like life and death risks, and you're supposed to just face those, normally pretty good about it. But there is a part of me that's like dealing with that a little bit, and so you're seeing me cope with it in real time, and kind of step back up and take some of those shots and see what I can do. So, if you haven't been around for the previous Against All Odds seasons, it, that might be a little bit less obvious. But there's an explanation for my skittishness, if you needed it. Let's go ahead and um, just pass the time until this is ready. Then we're going to eat all of that. And all of that. Oh, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Oh, that was that the entire steak? It was. Nice. Okay, I think there's a little bit more meat left on this first wolf. So I'm going to get some water going here. I don't need a ton. There's an hour and 50 minutes left on the fire. Oh boy, that's not what I wanted to see when I poked my head back away from the fire. All right, so we've got a little bit of, um... All right, yeah, we can still just chop it off this way. We've got a little bit of uh, weather incoming, it looks like, which is not surprising. But I'm like, at this point, do I go back to the cabin? You know, I, I'm going to have to go back to the cabin at some point. But now might not be the time to go back to the cabin, you know? I might need to see if I can actually find a cave. I'm going to drop that last little bit on the ground there. We're going to take that. We're going to pick that up. I'm going to put that there. Two minutes to ready. Eat it, please. Alright, so 26 minutes until that's boiled. 
Yeah, I'm not liking the way this is looking. I do kind of want to get the guts out of there, though, and go back to my spot. You know, now that I know these wolves are dead, it's like this is an opportunity for me to grab the guts from them and have them curing in a relatively safe position, maybe. The question is, are these wolves that I just killed, are they the same ones that were further up the river before? Can I, it kind of seems like they might have been. I'm just a little nervous about this weather. Yeah, uh, it's pretty much now or never. That's the vibe I'm getting. So let me, let me see if I can grab the guts off of these wolves and just get back to where I was camped out. As much as I hate to double back that far. Let's see. Yeah, this is going to take 24 minutes. It's going to be cold. I might just have time for the one. Yep. Just have time for the one. All right, let me... I'm going to warm up by the fire for a second before I go. I might also bring this steak with me, but that's a little bit risky. It's like... Well, there's a fire, Jennifer. There is that. Just saying. Let's go ahead and put some sticks on it to make it a little warmer. Thankfully, the wind is blowing the way it's blowing. That's a huge blessing. So I can chill by this fire. Or, rather, I could not chill by this fire. I could de-chill. Yeah, we're de-chilling. That's what we're doing. We de-chill by the fire. I do have to make it back up the waterfall, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to. Um... I don't have anything I can drink for warmth. I really wish I could have gotten over and, and like gotten the meat off that other wolf. And I suppose I could have with like the time that I was passing. Yeah, I could have done that. <laughs> I was still coming down off my adrenaline high, okay? I totally could have done that. That makes sense as a decision. Could have gone over and grabbed some meat off the other wolf while waiting for those steaks to cook. Well, lessons were learned. It's going to be there for a few days, so I can come back and cook it later, assuming everything kind of lasts. All right, I'm going to try to take a torch off this fire and run with it, see what happens. Let me take one more look around the edge of the banks here to see if I missed any cattails in obvious places. I think I see some more that way. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. I can come back for them later. All right, let's let's move. I'm gonna sprint. Like I'm just I'm gonna run flat out. I do want to peek over this direction and see if I spot any cattails. Nope. Well, yep, yep, yep. Thought I saw one. I, All right. I do still have that meat on me. So if I was wrong about the wolves. And there are more wolves in front of me that I'm about to be in trouble. Yep. Yep. Damn it. That's just one. Just kidding, it's a second one. That scared the living crap out of me. Let's go, buddy. You wanna do this? It's a goddamn freezing. Got it. That one was actually between the eyes. Oh boy. All right. Let's grab that. All right, now we're going to have the same problem with the second wolf. I'm just going to try and get past it. There's a demon right in front of me there. All right. So I don't know how the second wolf is not stalking me right now, but it's not. It's pretty nice that we got a doe right outside here. I could technically take that one out right now. I was really feeling like a sniper. But I've got a wolf potentially on my tail right now that I can't hear, so my main priority is to be mindful of that and get the heck back inside. The fact that there's a, a doe wandering around, that's good on the food front. I can come back out for it later, but for now, 
Let's get inside. And we're at the 35 minute mark, so that's perfect timing. I'm gonna go ahead and stop this one right here. <laughs> While Jennifer catches her breath. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this one, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to follow along. If it's not your first time or even your second, look for the join button to access unique emotes, badges, and other perks. New episodes are coming out every day but Wednesday at 1 p.m. U.S. Eastern Time, and comments are always welcome. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time.